is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we have sort of a discussion for you guys you guys saw the title i don't even know what i put as the title it was basically just a lot of stuff that i wanted to talk about because it's something that i need to address first of all and then just kind of get it out there so you guys can be in the loop stay in the loop and know what's going on behind the scenes and all those different stuff so with that being said man let's go ahead and get into it and discuss everything that i want to in this video so the first thing that i want to discuss in this video guys is going to be the pick fed the mdt pick fed i get a question i get a comment I get something probably every single day about the MDT pick fed, you know, when it's coming back, updates about it, all those different things. So in the course of the last couple weeks, because I did, uh, if you guys watched, I think, I don't remember if it was Dynamite or it may have been at Double or Nothing maybe. I tweeted out something like if uh, somebody returned or somebody debuted or something like that at the show, I would get My Damn Nation out before the end of the year. And uh, that is what I still plan on doing. And to do so, we need to get through two MDT lives, one Vindication, and the paper review by the end of the year. That's legitimately like six months. I would shoot for like New Year's Day maybe would probably be for the pay-per-view itself. But as far as like pick fed shows until then, we have three to get through. So that would give you four pick fed shows in the span of six months. So that would be a whole lot better than we've been doing. That that would be on schedule what we used to do in the past. So that would be really fantastic and that's what I still plan on doing. But that's what I said. That's the that's the deal that I tweeted out there. And I think it was Athena. It was, it was Ember Moon who showed up at Double or Nothing or whatever show it was. I believe it was Double or Nothing. Thing. She showed up, and then I think Malcolm Bivens showed up, and I didn't really count Bivens, but uh, uh, Ember Moon counts. That absolutely counted right there, so I did want to do that, and I was praying and hoping that somebody would show up so that, you know, it could give you, like, you know, like an injection into the arm to go ahead and get focused on that. So the last couple of weeks, I have been diving into what I can do to get this show right here finished, so that has been uh, more updates to the arena. That's been more details getting taken care of behind the scenes, uh, changing equipment, change different things like that because I want it to be a certain style. I want to fit it in there and going with that, I think what I'd like to do is start to introduce more fun like style videos to the channel in the terms of wrestling matches. So instead of doing like random one-off pick fed matches, maybe you could do something like, like a video style matchup similar to our horror action figure matches that we did back in October. Those specialized matches, you know, I've done a Royal Rumble similar to that in the past, I think a few years ago. I did an Elimination Chamber, but it got blocked in several countries. So the MDT Tournament of the Damned will be returning this year with updated, you know, rules and regulations and stuff. We will be doing that, and uh, I plan on implementing more matches. I'd like to do some more matches, some more fun stuff like that, and get just more creative in general, you know? I feel like this year I've been insanely busy with other things outside of the channel that I don't feel like I've been able to be fully creative, and it's really, uh, I think, hurt my mindset. It's hurt my uh, creativity. It's hurt a lot of things like that, man, and that's not what I want to... Like, I'm, ju I'm just sick of it, I guess, you know? I'm just sick of that. I want to squash that. I want to get the creative flow back, man. I want to get the creative flow back. I want to do more interesting customs and stuff like that. I know we still do action figure surgery and stuff like that, but I want to get more back into, you know, the painting style customs and, you know, the random things like we used to do the Finn Balor custom of the month and stuff like that. I would like to do some random one-off customs like that painting. I'd like to, you know, get more into, like I said, with the video style fed matches and things like that and come up with some cool things for you guys while also doing pick fed related stuff. Now, I'd still do reviews. Surgery would still be a thing you know, the MDT Monthly Battle Royal would need to be a staple again. I know it made its return, and it hasn't been like too, too long since the last one, but I would, I want that to be every single month on this exact day. It used to be the last day of the, the last day of each month we would do the MDT Battle Royal. I want that to return. I want that to be like a thing that everybody looks forward to. MDT Battle Royal Championship on the line right there, and we upload that last month, last day of the month every single time. That would be something that we shoot for, and I want to get back on track of that. So we'd still have our surgery. We'd have our Monthly Battle Royals back. We'd have our pick fed. We'd have more fun style matches related content. You'd still have your, if, if a new wave drops of WWE or AEW figures, I'm definitely going to review them for you guys. We'd still have some top 10 stuff like that. I know a lot of people want to see Thinking Outside the Box return. I still have to do my big collection video. I need a freaking haircut. It's been like three or four months I think since I've had a haircut, so there's that. But yeah, man, I just, I want to get all these things done. These are all things that I want to get done. So this last couple weeks has just been making steps toward that so that we can hit the ground running. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, the next pick fed will be uploaded. Maybe we can get some other more creative videos out there. Monthly Battle Royal should be coming soon. Should I just hold that off until the end of the month, last day of this month, make that the new like marquee that make that the new date, last day of every month would be a monthly battle royal. Let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. I'd also like to do the ranking videos. You know, I, I think we we're gonna do Scott Hall. There's other superstars that, that need to be done. You guys can let me know if you want to see that. Maybe we can change the format or something like that. I'd like to get my wife in here for more 
videos, my brother in here for more videos. But yeah, I just wanted to address the pick fed situation and other things in this video so you guys could feed back and let me know what you guys think. If I could have it my way and I had all the time in the world 24-7, I would churn out a new pick fed episode weekly like Monday Night Raw, you know what I mean? If that was a realistic thing that could be done and I had a team full of people helping me and I could, you know, sit down and have, you know, just a team 24-7, people tag in, you know, they film it and then they tag them on the turnbuckle, guy hops in, films his portion, that guy goes to sleep, wakes up, you know, tagged in, you know, to filming and camera batteries and editing and all that stuff. I had somebody or a team that could do that. That would be something absolutely that I would do. But there's still a way to get these videos out faster, man. There just is. I believe it to my core that I can get these pick feds out. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna strive to do that. I'm going to make it an emphasis to make sure that those take, things take place as well as these other videos that I enjoy making. Also, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. As you guys know that I do have two children on my own. Being a father is a huge blessing. It's probably my biggest blessing. And I want to give a huge shout out to every father out there. Hope you guys are having a fantastic and blessed Father's Day out there. But I had to get on here and address this. I know it's a Father's Day. You know, it's kind of like a holiday here, but I wanted to get on here and talk about it. I thought it was a good reset day. You know, Sunday, good reset day to talk and just jump on here and, and cut it up. And hopefully you guys can let me know all of your thoughts of what I'm saying down in the comment section below. But I think that pretty much wraps up the video in its entirety. I, I made a list of everything I wanted to address here. Maybe there's other things that I can address, but I'm also thinking about doing a giveaway really soon for an Ultimate Edition Batista and possibly some other figures, so stay tuned for that as well as potentially setting up a Patreon. So, you know, all those things are, are coming to fruition as we speak, but that's going to wrap up today's video. I do want to get into a random shout-out because we got to keep that going. I, I actually enjoy the random shout-outs. I'm glad that we brought those back, so whoever suggested to bring those back, I appreciate it, Brad. Let's get into our random shout-out, and this shout-out is going to go to Regan Bowen, who says, Cody Long Jacket. That's kind of a funny little wrestling name Cody Long Jacket. Cody's Long Jacket is from the pandemic announcement promo that he did from Daly's Place. Jazz wears things outside the box. We can't complain and should feel lucky if they didn't put his last figs into unreleased status. So that is definitely true. I was just stating, like, I love that they gave us something different, and I know that Jazz wears definitely thinks outside the box. They, I mean, giving us just these promo gears is outside of the box, and they're giving us different molds, which is so huge, man. They actually crush Mattel when it comes to one-of-one -one molds and, like, changing things up and not keeping one direct mold there, but that is cool that they're giving us the promo jacket from the pandemic era, but I would just like an option to put a shorter jacket on there because it's not something that he, it's not something that I think a lot of people would want. I think you're you're creating more versatility if you're giving him the shorter jacket, if that makes sense, but I did want to give a huge shout out to Regan and maybe Reagan for that comment, but I appreciate you, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. That is going to wrap it up. Have a blessed day, and uh, yeah, that was, uh, we are definitely blessed that they didn't throw Cody's figures into unreleased status. That would have absolutely sucked, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel, and have a blessed day. You cross the line, I've been